Well, today we're going to look through my camis, decide what to keep there. I've got just a, not cam, not camis, cardies. This is a cami. I've got a cami on. I'm going to look through my cardigans. I pretty much like them all, but you, you, you all tell me. So this is about half of them. I've got a lot of cardigans, so we'll do half this month, week and half next week. And see what you think. I just got black pants on and this white camisoles. It's one of those ones that kind of sucks you in. So, <laughs> uh, so let's get started. Here's the first one, sort of an off-white elbow sleeve. This one almost looks like a beach cover-up. <laughs> I don't hardly ever wear this. This one's like plain in the front and party in the back. Got like a wonky thing here. like this one. Got a couple pinkish print blouses I can wear under it. This one, the sleeves are, I don't know if they're those dolman sleeves or what, but they're really big. <laughs> This one's not exactly a cardigan, it, it buttons down the front, so it's more like, give it to, more like that. <laughs> but you can wear it like this, but it's, I wear it buttoned a lot, and then pants with it or skirt with it or whatever. I like the color on this one and the length. It's really, really long. See, it goes down to my knees. This one's not a cardigan, it's a poncho. It's kind of fun. I'd wear something darker underneath it because it kind of looks weird with a white and then a black with this see-through. So I'd wear at least something like that. That looks better. <laughs> this one's nice and heavy. It's like a heavier sweater material. This is nice to wear when it's not quite cold enough for a coat, but it's too cold to wear nothing. <laughs> um, I like the color of this one. The boy is hungry, so he's going to his dish and then following me around, so <laughs> I think I need to stop and feed him. I only have one more. He can wait. One, one more thing. <laughs> This one's cute. You just gotta watch what you wear with it because of course it's got stripes. Okay, you wanna come up here? No? Okay. Come here. Okay, he doesn't wanna come up. Say hi. So that's it. I'll put this ending at both. I'm going to split it up into two because I filled them all at once, but I'm going to split it up into two weeks because it's kind of a lot. <laughs> so let me know what you think. I had 
several like poncho kind of things in there and I'm like why do I never wear these they're soft and comfy and you don't have to worry about your tummy hanging out or nothing so maybe I'll put them more in the front of my closet instead of the back when the winter comes so that's why I keep saying cami and I mean cardi cardigan those are cardigans and sweaters as well one was a sweater I have a whole drawer full of sweaters that will do too but these are just cardigans, so tell, let me know if I gotta get rid of any of them. There's one vesty kind of one that I'm for sure getting rid of. The rest, I don't know. Most of them I like. I've got several black ones, so maybe get rid of one of those. I don't need three. I think I've got three black ones. I don't think I need three. <laughs> Alrighty, well, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know. I'm gonna number them as usual. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh-oh. This boy's going to start barking in a minute. He ran to the front window, so there's something out there. <laughs> and he's going to bark and bothers. But that's his job, is to warn me when somebody's coming up towards the house. But he does it when somebody's walking across the other side of the street. <laughs> Our streets are pretty narrow, so he thinks it's his property. If anybody walks across, even on the other side of the street, especially if it's a dog. He goes ballistic if a dog or dogs walk on his in his neighborhood <laughs> all right that's it for the cardigans um i don't know i might take a break and do the sweaters later because don't wear them till winter but i might just keep going let me know uh, what you think whether you enjoy these particular uh, type of videos or not i keep searching around to do what i what y'all want to see you know so i kind of Kind of look and see, you know, what you watch and what you don't watch. <clears throat> of course, the ones that get watched the most are the ones with the giveaway. <laughs> but, um, I don't know. Ever since I quit doing mostly unboxings because I can't afford it anymore, I'm kind of floundering of what direction to take my uh, thing. I do, what do I do? I do cooking sometimes. I do these clothes sorting ones, which will eventually run out on those. Sometimes I'll do um, fun facts. Um, once in a while I'll have a haul or uh, or I'll get like a stitch fix or something. I went online on Wee Blessing because I hadn't got anything from them since January and they had me deactivated. So I reactivated myself and I got an email saying they were working on a box for me so we'll see if I get anything from Wee Blessing. I don't know. They quit sending it to me because if you don't buy anything for two months in a row they think you're not interested so they quit sending you stuff. But I sent them an email saying you know look you were just sending me the wrong sizes is why I didn't buy anything. But I never heard anything back and never got any boxes so I just like oh well. I like Wee Blessings because it's not like Stitch, it's like Stitch Fix in a way because they curate a box and send it to you and all that. Uh, I knew it. There he goes. And hush. I think he's done barking. I turned Joe off so you didn't have to listen to it. What I was talking about was wee blessings. With Stitch Fix, they curate the box and then if you buy all five pieces, you get 25% off. With wee blessings, you get... 40 to 60 percent off every item so you get the discount whether you buy one or all five or whatever so and it comes from stores you've heard of like macy's and dillard's and pennies and stuff because i recognize some of the brands so anyway hopefully we'll get a box from them and we'll see whether i can afford to buy anything or not <laughs> i should probably try and buy one thing or they'll quit sending me forever ever <laughs> The boy's playing with his, uh, got a bear there he's playing with. He likes it. He's about to be stuffed that bear. <laughs> he didn't ever tear up his toys till Max and Bella came over, and Max tore up one of his toys, and he said, oh, there's stuff inside there. I think I'll tear mine up now. So he, now he tears up his, his stuffed toys like he didn't used to ever do. Max and Bella are going to come again next week, the 20th. So what's that, next week? They, um, they're they going to stay just for a couple days while her, my grandson goes down to 
Baylor, which is south of here, about an hour and a half. It's half about halfway between here and um, and um, Houston. If you've ever watched the Chip and Joanna Gaines stuff, they they do their uh, they've got magnolia farms and all that kind of stuff, and they do their home revitalizing or whatever you call it um, down in Waco. That's where he is. Is down in Waco. So anyway, they're going to take him and help him move into his dorm. He's in. All right, I rambled on a lot about nothing has anything to do with trying these clothes on. <laughs> so we will cut this up a little and, you know, get rid of some of the stuff that doesn't have anything to do with anything. And I'll get this uploaded one for weed out wednesday this week and one for weed out wednesday next week and i'll put the same ending on both of them so obviously the doggies aren't coming two weeks in a row so just ignore that part <laughs> love y'all bye-bye